You're welcome to charismatic renewal ministry from this portal as well. responsibility as a pastor to first of all save myself and to save those who live to me. Amen? Because on the judgment day I give account, two accounts. The account of my life and the account of the people God kept under me. So it is our responsibility. I mean a great responsibility. Let it be that we have we have settled even the people we are listening to, that, that, that are listening to us. Let it be that it is only our own life that we are going to give account. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as much as possible, anytime a message comes forth from this altar, both the first and the second message, it is important that we give attention to it, receive grace. You know, you know, part of the things people don't pray about also. People don't pray about life. You know, it, it baffles me that the church has become so materialistic. Every of our prayer point, check it, is something that eyes can see. Then the most important thing we are supposed to be asking, people don't ask about it. For example, do you know that people don't ask for grace? Grace is a spirit. And what does that, that spirit do? That grace, the, the spirit gives you the ability to do what otherwise you wouldn't have been able to do by your own strength. That is what grace does for you. So, if a strong message come our way, one of the major prayer we should pray, Lord, I receive grace. I receive grace. Instead of closing up your heart, no, 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 no. Receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, receive grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, we will be building on what we have started talking about. One of the greatest mystery of the kingdom. The greatest mystery of the kingdom. It's a mystery that you can understand it using English language. You cannot use vocabulary to explain it. Just like you cannot use vocabulary to explain how bread and wine used to become the body and blood of Christ when it is prayed over by faith and people received it. So it is you will not be able to understand this thing using the human mind or using grammatical expression to explain it. It's a great mystery. And what is the great mystery? Is that God is not only in heaven that Jesus is not only in heaven, but Jesus is living inside of us. Am I talking to you at all? Jesus is doing what? Living inside. And we have been explaining that anything we, as you are reading the Bible, please pay attention. As you are reading the scriptures, it is important 
that you pay attention to the grammatical expression used in the Bible. If not, you will not be able to understand what is written there. Grammar. For example, if you don't understand the simple tense, past tense, and present tense, reading your Bible upside down. Because praying today that has already been concluded in the past. I'm not talking to you at all. I pray for someone. May God open your understanding. I thought you remember that name. I said, May God open your understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. For example, for example, if the Bible say, By his stripes, you are what? Eh? You were healed. What, a, what is that where? <laughs> Amen. That where is pastors. You know, I you know I watch a I, I watch a lot of comedies. Amen. I I watch one accident scene. One man, one man just came and hit one Alhaji Alhaji's uh, 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 car, and then and then police will just came and said, "Young man, why did you hit this man?" So the man just opened his mouth to explain and say, "As I was, the Alhaji now gave his up." Something happened here, Nana. You say I was say. <laughs> you say, say you you. If you come on to Rechima, I don't know how to speak. Say I is. Why will you say was? You did it just now. Say I is. <laughs> I now listen to me. Understanding of tenses is very critical to your Christian experience. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised. What? Please take note. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement that brought us peace was laid upon him. And by his tribe, we were healed. So are you sick? Eh? Are you sick? Hello, sir. No, man. Are you sick? You are not sick. Why? Because by the past tense of scriptures, it has been settled. So all you need to declare now when you are praying for healing, in the name of Jesus, I walk in my healing. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. Simple, listen, this simple understanding change our lives. Change our life. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Don't be that al that say, I is you don't understand in, in the Bible. Come on, Turenchi. Then the next thing you need to understand in scriptures is the issue of what in we call preposition. A, an, a, a grammatical expression that explains the location of something. If I say that go and pick this Bible that I dropped on the chair. That the, that word on have explained everything. Simply explain that. Go looking for the Bible. This is the location of the Bible. Holy that you Lord God Almighty, what is the land? What is the land? Amen. Hallelujah. So we said that Colossians chapter 1, verse 24 begin to give us an expression God dwelling in us that there, there was a secret that God kept on, under the New Testament that was when he came to explain it to us he kept that secret tight until during after Jesus had resurrected from the dead that this mystery was delivered what was the mystery that it is possible for a human being 
to enter into another human being. Amen. And we saw several graphical expressions in the Bible that talks about that people are not empty. Hello? Help me tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are not empty. You are possessed. <laughs> you are what? Possessed. You know, anytime we talk about, you know, I told you the story when I got born again, nearly how, how, how I was confronted by a little girl. A little girl who was possessed of the spirits of the devil. What is, what is simple there is that a spirit being just decided to enter into the body of that girl. The same way it happened negatively, so it is in the positive dimension that Jesus did not get born again. That when you got born again, one thing that happened to you is that Jesus entered into you. Lord, oh. when he was on earth, when Jesus was on earth, he was limited to one place. That's why the devil didn't understand the mathematics of dying and coming back to life. When Jesus was on earth, he was limited to one place alone. And he's limited to one location. That was why at a point, he needed to send people out to go and preach in the places he could not go or he intended to go. He was limited by location. But when he died and came back to life, hallelujah, shout hallelujah. When he came back to life, he now dis he now had the capacity to distribute himself to several millions of people. Glory to God. Say with me, Jesus is living in the inside of me. You are not talking. Jesus is living in the inside of me. The whole, the whole, the whole God, the creator of heaven and earth is living in the inside. Amen. Today we are going to start on the indwelling spirit, which is a, a portion of it. Indwelling spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Romans chapter 8, verse 9. Say with me, I am possessed. I am not empty. Romans chapter 8 and verse 9. Hallelujah. But ye are not in the flesh. Did you see what scripture said? You know, we, we, we finished talking about works of the flesh. This, this is the expectation of Christ. Say, but ye are not in the flesh, but in where? In the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwells where? Dwells where? So that, that word in shows the location where the spirit of God is. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, is what? Is none of us. That's as serious as it is. That in this generation, if you are not carrying the spirit of Christ, of you, you are part of it. You can be going to a church, you can be doing anything in church, you can even be in the service group in the church, you can do anything. But once the spirit of Christ is not in you, he say you don't belong to him. So what makes what gives you identity is the spirit of God. That is why listen to me. Listen. You are here, and up to now, you understand or you have not yet received what we call the baptism of the Holy Spirit, there is still comma in your life. Because as a matter of fact, you cannot even overcome the flesh. In those days, under the Old Testament, the Spirit of God used to come upon, come upon prophets, come upon great, great people. He comes upon them for specific assignment. Once they finish the assignment, quickly, the, the Spirit will go. But this time around, the Holy Spirit came in and said, I am in the inside of you. Say with me, inside. Say it again, inside. No, so, as you are sitting down, you are not only the bundle of flesh and blood. I'm not talking to you at all. You are not just, you are low. Amen? 
You're not normal. Don't, don't ever see yourself as normal. You know, the problem with Christianity is either ignorance or, or lack of, I mean, or unconscious or ignoring. When you ignore reality, you will not experience greatness. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. From today, I see you walking in the consciousness of who you are. I say, I see you walking in the consciousness of who you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, several years ago, Sinach sang a song. I know who I am. Now listen. He said, a lot of people thought that it was just a normal song. They don't know that it is a revelation that was coming to the body of Christ. You know, the, the idea, the idea of people thinking that, let me quickly say this. The idea of people thinking that God is somewhere far away. God is somewhere far away. And then you are calling him to come. You are calling him to come. You are calling him to come. You are calling, you know, you know, those days there's this song we used to sing. Uh, there's this song we used to sing. <laughs> Anytime we want something, the, the place to shake, and then we, to, the place to shake so that uh, we small, small men of God, we feel that power has moved. Oh, one Igbo song like this. Okay. Bia, 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 monso, bia. Which Which since on the day of Pentecost. Glory to God. You know, we had a lot of songs that we sing in those days. To make us there's another. And then we bend in our head like feeling, feeling unholy, unworthy before God. Now listen to me. Christianity doesn't respond to your pain. It doesn't respond to how you are doing like this. So you are somebody. When somebody tells you, do you know who I am? You also should tell him, do you know who I am? But your own who I am, you are talking with the consciousness of grace. Is he that is in you than he that is in the world? Hallelujah. They live inside of you. When you got born again, was one big God squeeze himself and enter inside, and then he sits. Now, listen, if this revelation will be will, will be clear in our spirits, we will walk in power. Am I talking to you at all? So you don't you are not calling the Holy Spirit from anywhere. The Holy Spirit is where? Say it's inside of me. Oh, say it's inside of me. In the name of Jesus Christ. John chapter 14, verse 16. Let me prove you. I mean, let me prove it to you. John chapter 16. John chapter 14, sorry. 16. 14, 16. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not alone. I am not alone. I comfort her. Hey, Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Say it convincingly. I am not alone. Is my comforter. Hey, Jesus is my comforter. I am not alone. And I will pray the Father, and he shall do us. He shall give you another comforter that he may please take, take note of this. He that he may abide where with you forever. Verse 17 now. 
Verse 17 weekly. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But you know him. Take note of that verse. For he dwells where? He dwells to you and he speed in you. Too low. Now, this thing shows two different locations. There is with you. He is with you. And then, he is now in you. He is with you. He is now in you. Now, anytime you bring a, a is this sponge now? What's that? That that dust that? How do they call it in English? So so uh, that uh, that foam, that foam. When you put foam inside water, it absorbs water. Anytime you sit like this, what comes out? That comes out. Say with me, greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. Say it again. I I have someone living in the inside of me. So as you are walking like this now, you are two of you. <laughs> you are what? You are what? You are two of you. Permit me to use that English. You are two of you. So you are two in one. Have you ever seen a pregnant woman before? Yes. A pregnant woman, once she becomes pregnant, normally this is how I humorously used to greet them. And I want to greet them and say, ha, how on a day? Because immediately she becomes pregnant. She is not only one person who what you are seeing, you are seeing only one. But when you talk to them, talk to them how on a day. Amen. How is it part of you? Don't be because when you see her, even if once you become pregnant, even if the pregnancy is flat, that is a you are not seeing it. That woman is no longer normal. That is why, <laughs> that is why one morning she will be the one to behave. Morning, the child is. You want to behave, so you not be wondering this woman having uh, this kind of double swing of behavior is because there are two. <laughs> like people who are being pregnant, <laughs> they understand. Amen. No matter how the man explains it, it is the woman that can explain it better. I watched a video. One man say, "I want to enter the labor room." They say that your wife is there. Wait now. Say, "I want to enter." When he entered and saw the woman, what she was going to, she he fainted. <laughs> he fainted. Listen to me, oh. If only this understanding we done on us, if it can only done on us, I tell you the truth, we will not, we will not be jumping up and down if we have an understanding that there is another human being living in the inside of you. From today, no evil will befall you. From today, you will not be defeated again. From today, you will not be afflicted again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christianity is all about consciousness. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. Eh? I live a life of favor. All this thing is not because of who you are. But because the person that is living in the inside of you cannot fail. The person that is now, how can a young woman be afraid of failure? How can a young woman be afraid of not settling down? No, 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 no. There is somebody that is living in the inside of you. And I pray for you that may that person begin to manifest in your life. I say may that person begin to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. When you see when you see when you see a native doctor what makes you to be afraid of a native doctor very simple you felt that he carried some demons Jesus was standing before one one, one of those things was a pilot now so yes he stood before him and then the man was talking rubbish the man was talking rubbish, was bringing out rubbish, was talking rubbish up and down. Jesus kept quiet. Jesus answered no word. <laughs> but when they made a mistake and started mentioning the issue of man, that was the first and the last time Jesus opened his mouth. The 
the man, I'm talking, talking, talking. She don't refuse to answer. You know, say, ah, you are not talking to me. You are not answering me. Don't you know that I have power to kill you and to resist Jesus now raised himself like this. You have no power over me. Except it's just given to you for now. I can acknowledge and say, I can ask my heavenly father now and he shall give me more than 12 legions of angels now to finish you and the entire Roman people. Have no power over me. This is the person is living inside of you. This was the person that walked upon water. This was the person that multiplied bread. This was the person that healed the sick. He made the lame walk. This is the person that is living in the inside of you. This is the person. You know, we are in a generation of collectible Christians. Christian who always like gimme 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 the gimme 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 and then and then fake fake men of God are taking advantage of them up and down because they don't want to agree and understand that there is somebody in the inside of you that can settle the matter greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Say it after me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. So our problem is simply ignorance, unconsciousness, and we just ignore. Four things. Let me just mention four out of many that the Holy Ghost. What is he doing there? What is he doing inside of you? Let's start from what he does inside. Let's start from what he, now Jesus is not inside you just for being there. He is there to do a job. Hallelujah. Is there to do what? He is there to do a job. And what are the job? Number one is to give you an anointing. Jesus, that the, the word anointing does not connote the Holy Spirit. The word anointing means the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, I am anointed. Say it again, I am anointed. You know, you know the world, even though it is good, even though there, has, there, there is a small leadership difference, the world, the church, had made it so much so that they used to say that it is, I mean, that, that make people to not start believing that it is only those who are on the pulpit that are anointed. Hello? It is the child that made it so. <laughs> it is the child that made it Then I say, hi, that one is an anointed man of God. Kai, that one is anointed. You can only be saying that because of leadership reason. But not because that this Holy Spirit that is inside of this guy is more senior than the one that is inside of you. Am I talking to you at all? So, we so much amplify the office of leadership to the point that we forgot our own anointing. We forgot our own anointing. Let me show you a scripture. First John. First John before we close. First John chapter 2, verse 27. First John 22. First John chapter 2, rather. 27. First John. First letter of John 2, 27. Aha. Did he mention the name of any minister here? No. Well, take a look at it. But anointing which you have received him abided where? Abide where in you. And ye need not kai. Can you put it uh, in NIV? Sometimes I don't want to bite my tongue. Good. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains where? you do not need anyone to teach you but as his anointing teaches you about all things and as that anointing is real not counterfeit just as it has taught you remain in him now hear this hear this let me say something 
that may, that may be detrimental to, to some of us who are men of God. Detrimental in the sense that it's, it's, it's like derobing us of our, eh, of our special feeling and special power. When God wants to talk to a man, I mean, before God uses another man to talk to you, he must have spoken to you. Am I talking to you at all? If I come now and I say, Thus says the Lord. In fact, if you go anywhere and any prophet come to tell you this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, check. If it doesn't resonate with your spirit, you have the power to reject it. Am I talking to you at all? You have the power to do what? Say no, it's not my head. Amen. It's not my head. Uh, I've said this story here again. Some time ago, yes, but before before uh, Sister Melody left here. <laughs> Sometimes I, I don't like her because of her straightforwardness. Straight. She went to one place and then the the the, the, the work of that man is that anytime he sees new person in the church, he wants to come and do prophecy. Yeah? Come on, yeah, come and do prophecy. Prophecy, prophecy. She, whether there is prophecy or there is no prophecy, fake or fake, just just to see how because he has a way of doing things. He used prophecy and then later he will now tell you that the church you are going, they are using evil power so that he can he can, he, he, he can smuggle you to his area. And of course, that's how that's not how church grows. If you use such kalo kalo, you you gather them, they will disappear. You come again, you disappear. So she went to the church one day, see for one task, and so on. Then the man just came and shake body, shake body, shake body, shake body. He said, Can I prophesy? Man, they say no. I love that lady with her straightforward letter. So man, she said no. So the man now, the, the, the man now continued and went and continued his sin. And then later he now came back. Is by false prophecy. All because he just saw that he's a new person. And I said, hey, hey, this is this the Lord said this one. The Lord said that there is so 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 so. Is it true? Melody said it's not true. So 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 when the way when she was telling me the story, I was even feeling for the man. I said, and you say it's not true. I said, you 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 you, you, you should have come quite small now. You know, she now say ah. She, Lord said, how, can, how can I how can he I told him that he should not prophesy you and he went on to prophesy and then now plus that prophesy wrong prophecy <laughs> listen to me oh. listen prophecy is the lowest lowest in spiritual life. I mean lowest lowest that's why most of them they do it and nothing happen they say you will be this and nothing happen but, you are the determinant whether the prophecy will come to pass or not. So next time, you excuse me, you have a choice. Does anybody come? Can I prophesy if you are not in the mood? No, no, don't prophesy. <laughs> don't prophesy. It's okay. Why? Why should a believer not build his life on prophecy? Very simple. For there is an anointing in you, and that anointing teaches you what to do. That's what that scripture means. It is high time for the Christians there is somebody there is this anointing you are looking for about. That's what is inside you. No matter how a man of God prayed in you. What, what a man of God if, if, if praying for this man now is to act what is inside of him the faith and the anointing that's what I do not to control your life because you are a child of God the Holy Spirit in me is not different from the one that is in you I hope you understand it the only difference between me and you is leadership cadre. and somebody can be a pastor tomorrow and then I become a member it is possible 
Help me tell your neighbor, I hear. <laughs> Help me tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. I mean, shake your soul, neighbor, neighbor. Can I pass 26? Likewise, what is the Holy Spirit doing inside of me? This is one of the things he does. The Spirit also do what? Help. Say with me, help it. Help our what? Infirmity. The word infirmity there means weakness. Means weakness. Excuse me, sir. In case you don't know. Maybe let me tell you now. You have some weaknesses. You have what? You have some weaknesses. Some people's weak weaknesses differs from our genetic combination, from the environment, and from the problem we are going through. Another man's weakness is, an, is, is not the other, another person's own. But the Holy Spirit has a responsibility. That is why, that is why everybody should understand the area of weaknesses. You should understand the place of weaknesses. Like what your Pastor Julie preach. You, you understand your area. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. One brother that... <laughs> I told you, he said he will give his life to Christ and they say oh, okay, today no more drinking, no more drinking, no more drinking. After, after one week, I mean after one month or two months, he will go back inside again. Back, 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 back. So the man, the pastor now say, the pastor now decided to ask him a question. Hey, what? where do you live, sir? See, see, see my market. <laughs> Amen. See my market. See my house. Simple. The pastor say, pack. You ask, he was so used to it that anything green looked like green bottles. Glory to God. Those days when, when we were when we were selling selling dawa as children. In uh, what's the name of that place that they used to have a of drinking in uh, in Bauchi? Railway, that railway, Angomburukutu. We, we carry, we carry carry dawa me pastor ab <laughs> we go and sell we'll be selling for that <laughs> we we'll go and be i help his mother or say just do it once and then there's this there's this man that anytime he sees calabash empty calabash will be doing. this matter empty empty calabash empty calabash excuse me one of the greatest discovery you are going to discover in your life is to discover the area of your weakness. The greatest discovery. Once you discover it, you know that the way you, the way you, you deal like this, you know your area. Don't go there. Shout hallelujah. Likewise, the spirit also help our infirmity. For we know not what we ought to pray as we ought to. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groans, groaning which cannot be uttered. Little by, by grace you made us who we are. We are who we are. Can we stand to our feet? Oh, we are.